So here's another problem of thin film interference uh, that we're going to look at. So in this case, a 150 nanometer film of motor oil with a refractive index of 1.5 is coated on top of a diamond, making it appear blue. I'm sure that you've seen jewelry, a plastic jewelry that has a very thin film on it that if you scratch it, it changes its color. That's how they'll do it. Explain why the diamond appears blue and calculate the exact wavelength of light being reflected off the surface of the film. Okay, so here's another thin film interference problem, and I have the diagram drawn for you right over here. You got air with a refractive index of 1, oil with a refractive index of 1.5, and diamond that the oil is coating with a refractive index of 2.5. That's going to switch a few things up. So let's start by writing down the equations that we have for thin film interference that are in your data booklet. 2nt is equal to m lambda and 2nt is equal to m plus 1 half lambda. So which of these equations are we going to use to actually calculate the specific wavelength of light that's coming off of the diamond? Okay, so those are the two equations. Now, to explain why the diamond appears blue, in general, blue is a wavelength between 350 and 450 nanometers, to explain why, this diagram is explaining why. So when white light is hitting that oil interface, only the blue light is going to be able to go through it and come out and match up and undergo constructive interference. Okay, and the diamond material underneath is important because it's going to be affecting the reflection at that boundary. So we would say that it appears blue not because the oil is colored blue, but because the oil and the thickness of the oil and the refractive index is creating a situation that thin film interference occurs and the only constructive interference that would occur would be with 400 or 350 to 450 nanometer light. And the second part is to actually calculate which wavelength of light that's going to be. In order to do that, I have to select either that formula or that formula. So let's figure out. Remember from the last problem, the selection of the formula depends on the phase shifts that would be occurring at those boundaries. So let's take a look at those phase shifts. Okay, I have a phase shift over here at that reflection. I might, we'll see right now if we have a phase shift. So let's take a look at those two reflections. Over here, I'm going from a low refractive index to a high refractive index at that interface. So that would be a phase shift of one half of a wavelength. Okay, right over there. And on the bottom, I'm also going from 1.5 to 2.5, so that would also be a phase shift. I'm going from low to high. So then I would have also a one-half wavelength phase shift down at the bottom, okay? So both of these rays got bumped by a half wavelength, okay? If they both got bumped by the same amount, it's as if that phase shift ha didn't even happen at all. Okay, so I don't have to worry about it. Both of those got bumped, which then allows me to just figure out without this, I don't have to worry about factoring in the phase shift of one half. There is no path length difference of one half anymore because they both got bumped by the same amount. So that means that I don't use this formula. That means that in this time, I'm going to use this formula, okay? Because a full order of wavelengths are going to match up. I don't have to shift it by a half. They both shifted by a half. Okay, so let's use the formula up top to then do the calculation. So we're trying to calculate the wavelength of light, the exact wavelength. I'm going to rearrange that equation. Okay, now for the thinnest thickness of that oil, we would say that M can be 1, 2, or 3. But for the thinnest thickness, I would select 1, where M is equal to 1. So 2 times a refractive index of 1.5, times a thickness of 150 nanometers, divided by, let's say, 1 will be my wavelength. OK, so in that case, 2 times 1.5 times 150 would give me 450 nanometers is going to be the wavelength of light that is going to be scattered off of that. So it's going to be a blue wavelength of light that we're going to be able to see with our eyes. Okay, 